It took me three solid weeks in order to get the contract that paid me $600 a day. If you ask me, I feel like this is the best kept secret. This is like the million dollar secret. Let's say I'm drop shipping. So instead of me trying to figure out what product is trending, no, I'm going on these sites and seeing the government is putting listings and bids that saying, I need this. The only thing I'm left to do is go find it. How do somebody get started if they got the license or a car, whether they rent the car, like walk me through the process. It has to work or it has to work. Welcome to Circle of Greatness. I'm your host, Nehemiah Davis, and today we got another dope episode. I'm excited about this one because we're going to show you, not we, she, because y'all know I don't, I don't know everything, but I had to figure out that I see what people are doing in the medical courier and supply industry. So I had to find somebody I saw is crushing it and had to bring around to come get this game because my goal 2024 is for you to generate more revenue, right? So again, I'm bringing in everybody that I can to help you do that. So without further ado, Leela, what's up? Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. How you feeling? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. First, I got to say you're a serial entrepreneur. The first thing <laughs> is I remember years ago, um, you went and got an event space. You stumbled. Yeah. How did you find me anyway? How, how did you? Um... Through Brian. Okay, through Brian. Okay. okay. And then I went down a rabbit hole. Okay. And I was like, who to choose? Yeah, okay, okay. And I chose you. Right, well, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to him too. But yeah, um, and one thing I could say about you just from me watching you over the years is you are an executor. <laughs> like, I don't even, like, if you, you can't come on a show unless you're, unless you're an executor. And I could say... <laughs> You work extremely hard. You go make it happen. Um, how long have you been this full-time serial entrepreneur now? Full-time? Yeah. I want to say three years. Wow. How, how, how did, like, how, what made you take the leap of faith three years ago to say, I'm going to go, I'm going to go all in on this? What made you do that? Um, got out of my own way. Mm. Honestly, that okay. was the biggest. Yeah. What you mean by that? Like, you were telling yourself, I don't know if it's going to work. Like, tell me. No, I had mentors telling me exactly what to do. Yeah. And I would say, no, I can't. No, it's too hard. Yeah. I want to say a year before I started doing my five-day challenges, yeah. uh, I had a mentor that was like, do five-day challenges. Yeah. And I was like, no. Mm -hmm. So I just did webinars. And a year later, I started five-day challenges, and it's been a wrap. Wow. And now I just go with that type of execution. Yeah. If it makes me uncomfortable, if it scares me, yeah. I'm going after it. That, that that That's the reason why you should do it. Go mm -hmm. all in. Mm -hmm. Got it. Let me ask you, because I heard you mention this, and I think it's very important. I know you're mentoring and, sh and helping a whole lot of people when it comes to getting into government contracting via medical courier and supplies, all type of stuff. Um, but what for you, when did you discover the importance of mentorship? And I'm only asking you because I'm like, First seven, eight years in my business, I didn't really have no mentors or I didn't really understand the importance of it. I may have had one or two, but I didn't really take it as serious. Like, when did you discover? Did, is that when you discovered mentorship three years ago? Like, when did you discover? Oh, no. Like? I always knew what mentorship was and why it was so important. It was just I was always broke mm. and I had to find it out, figure it out myself. Yep. And that's why I am a serial entrepreneur because yeah. I had to figure it out. Mm. trial and error it. right had to make something mm -hmm. happen and once i did start to make something i reinvested in myself so lee i got a question so i want to start like i i want i want to get started i want people in here to be able to get off of this okay. show and be like yo how do i where do i start is there websites is there like what i need to do i know earlier you would tell me about prior to us recording like yo the biggest hack in this game is really being consistent so can you talk about that and then talk about like how do somebody get started if they got the license or a car, mm -hmm. whether they rent the car? Like, walk me through the process. I suggest that you use the top three sites, which is Indeed, ZipRecruiter, mm -hmm. and the CLDA. Okay. When you start- CLDA? Yes. Okay, got it. Um, but you can just Google that, .org, and yeah. then it'll come up. It's a site, it's a partnership site that has different um, partners that you can go on there and um, depending on where you're at, find contracts and run those contracts whether it's hourly or on demand. Mostly we're looking for on demand. But I always tell everyone, start off in the and then move down to the zip recruiter and then the CLDA. Mm, okay, got it. And talk about it, because we were talking a little bit offline, like none of them sites matter if you ain't consistent. Talk, talk no. to me about why is that so important, right? Especially right now when people stop and start, stop and start. Tell me a little bit about that. I truly believe good opportunities don't last. Mm. And it's the same thing over here. 
you honestly have to be consistent because they post these job offers yeah. or these opportunities and then they go away because people are posting and they got their limit, they got their max or whatnot. So you have to make sure that you are applying and you're applying for a lot, just enough to get one, two, or maybe three contracts. Got it. So consistency is key. It took me three solid weeks in order to get the contract that paid me $600 a day. Wow, but you gotta think, three weeks to get a contract that gives you 600 a day? How long are these contracts normally? Like how long uh, can they be? This is when I went down the rabbit hole. Okay. I wanted to see who are getting the contracts that I am subbing. Got it. Okay. And when I figured out that these are government-based contracts, mm. that's when I said, let's start the business side. Mm. So, wait, let's start the business side or side? The business side. Okay. Because Tell me most about that. of the time, people can start with Indeed or even the CLDA just using their own car. Um, your own social, you know, you don't have to go out there and build your EIN. I do suggest that you should because yep. you do open up yourself to more opportunities, yep. but you can start off just regular Joe Bull. Mm. So let me ask you this because you kind of intrigued me and I, I don't know if I'm catching this right. So I picked up a contract for $600 a day, but I heard you mention sub. Can I have someone else go do the contract for me. I give them a portion, and then, I mean that's a regular business, so right, I guess I could. Course. Yes. Is that where were you alluding to? Like yes, subs? but on a bigger scale. Okay, what you mean? Tell, tell Meaning, me about a lot of us are like, hey, take that six hundred dollar contract that I will be driving, yep. sub it out to someone for five hundred. You keep the hundred, mm -hmm. rinse and repeat. Do yep. that to ten, twenty more people. Yeah. Then yes, you can. Well, okay. But I am going after the contracts that are four or five years long that are yielding anywhere from a hundred thousand a year or a million a year. Wow. So bait so so hold on, let me do some math. So <laughs> this six hundred dollar contract a day could potentially be a year or two? Most definitely. Actually, no, more like four or five years. The the medical contracts. I've seen maybe they usually start at one year and then you can renew, but it's usually up to like four or five years. Oh, so hold on, let me just make sure six hundred dollars a day times is it normally seven days a week or is it normally five? That days depends a week? on your contract. Okay, but so it can be. I'm always about stacking my monies. Yeah. If I'm going to be out here, I don't want to just waste my time just doing one thing. I like opportunity after opportunity. Yeah. So I'm out there stacking my main courier routes and I stack them with apps. Okay. So when I do that, I can maximize my $600 to now possibly $1,000 a day. Okay. So hold on before. I want, I want you to talk about that. So okay. run sec. So if I find a $600 contract, let's just say, and let's just say 300 days a year. <laughs> That's $180,000 off of one contract. Mm -hmm. And even if I subbed it out and kept 100 to, 200 to 150 a day, it's- You're still doing good. You're doing great. <laughs> Dang, okay. But so, this is my thing. Yeah. I don't want to deal with, <laughs> okay, so let me just give you 100. Yeah. When, when you're an on-demand contract, that means if they call you, you can pick up or you cannot pick up. Got it. Yes, it can hurt you. That's an on-demand contract. Yes. Okay. So what's when, the other options? You got on-demand or that hourly. Means, that means you need to be here Monday through Friday at nine a.m. to five p.m. Okay. You can't go home. You can't do that. Okay. What do you on, prefer? On demand. Okay, got it. So I can run my event space business all okay. weekend. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. So I'm doing on-demand, and so when they call me, I'll pick up if I want to do it or I not pick up. I didn't like doing routes on Thursdays and Fridays. So I would because of traffic. traffic. It's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sure. When it was closer to the pandemic, oh my gosh, it was lovely out there. Mm -hmm. But I would generally say I was only working Monday through Wednesday. But then when those six hundred dollar contract days come up, because they'll fluctuate. He may say six hundred this day, three hundred this day, because it depends on your contract. Your six hundred is usually running your full day, and then I'll pair it with other apps. So if if you're like me and I don't pick up. You got to find somebody to fulfill that contract. Right. So now I'm a business owner. I got to fix those problems when, let's say, I need five people to go on a route and three of them don't show up. Yeah. So I rather transition to the medical supply side. Why, why medical supplies? 
Because it mimics uh, somewhat of drop shipping, okay. and I've done drop shipping before. Um, yes, I am bringing the product in through my um, event space or whatnot in order to hold it, yeah. whether if it's small or medium. But nonetheless, um, it gives you an opportunity for you to buy product and sell it to the government and then move on to your next contract. Cool. Initially, with the service side, you are fulfilling or your or your W-2 workers or your independent contractor workers are fulfilling a contract that is every single month or every single day, you know, versus let's just say the government needs 10,000 sutures. I find a company that is able to provide that. I bid on it. If it's the lowest bid, I win it, fulfill it, get paid. Okay. So just so I'm understanding, I start off as the courier. I'm in my car. I'm finding these contracts, $100 a day, $500, $600 a day. So I'm doing that. Why would I stop doing it if I could get $600? i am just trying to understand the graduation process to the supplies. Like, why do I stop? Do I still got to deliver these? No. I mean, you can if you want to. So I'm basically getting now. This is me getting out of my car. Yes, that's okay. why. That's okay. what made me venture into it. Okay. When I first started this, never in a million years I was like, I'm going to start a medical supply business. Got it. It kind of just happened when I seen the avenue. I seen how popular it was um, as far as financially, but it was very underrated. A lot of people didn't understand and realize how big it was. And I do believe, like with 2020 pandemic. It helped a lot of people understand how big the medical is. Now, do I uh, go after other products um, other than medical? Yes, but medical is my number one products that I go after. And then there's other things under there. How would you like to make your first $300 to $600 a day with your own vehicle? And I ain't talking about Turo, and I'm definitely not talking about Lyft or Uber. Or how about even making your first $1,000 to $2,000 a day delivering medical supplies to the government? Hey there, I'm Leela Brown, and I've been teaching people for the last year how to make $300 to $2,000 a day with the medical courier and the medical supply business. I want to invite you to join me in the Medical Profit Challenge. No certification needed. No licensing. No, you don't have to be a doctor nor a nurse. I'm talking, this is going to be the biggest virtual medical conference of the year. When I say this is the easiest way to get into the medical industry, oh yes. You get the platinum ticket today, you'll get access to my Zoom one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with me. Access to my Telegram group, and wait, there's more. We have cash prizes and giveaways that can help you with getting your supplies for your medical courier business. So get my platinum ticket today and come learn the medical courier business and the supply business and start making your first thousand dollar days. Don't miss this opportunity to start the medical profit challenge with me. Click the link below. So essentially what we're doing is graduating. We go to courier, then we go to supplies. Like, do we stay on supplies though? Like now we're government, con like where do I go get the contracts? Are there websites? Like how do I know that the government is looking for sutures and why don't the government just go direct to a website or something. Why? How am I getting an opportunity to do business with so, them? So they can't go out there and buy from the Apple Store. Got it. They can't go out there and buy from Macy's. Got it. They have to buy from um, certain entities. So, Got for it. example, there are so many contracts out there that they only can sit there and bid, allow us to bid on, which is small businesses, and that's you and I. That's anyone what under five hundred employees. It. So that means we can go on sites like Sam.gov. Of course, that's the most popular. Everybody knows about that. Yeah. But if you go on Dibs, D-I-B-B-S, that is the product side. When I tell you they post not just hundreds, but thousands of contracts every single day. That is wow. product-based. Dibs.com. It's Dibs.mil. The government don't just know how to just put Make it simple. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. So backslash dot gov yes. backslash govcon backslash uh. <laughs> but nonetheless that's where i find all the products so instead of me trying to figure out let's say i'm drop shipping um what product is trending what product should i invest in and go buy off of aliexpress no i'm going on these sites and seeing the government is putting listings and bids that saying i need this the only thing is i'm left to do is go find it mm, okay and I, I go find it and I, I go buy it from that. So let me ask you this question just so I'm on. 
I go find it where I can buy it from. Do I get, do I basically accept the, essentially, government's looking for 10,000 sutures. I go find them from a supplier. Supplier like, hey, I could get them for you for this amount. Um, and you basically go bid on what you're willing to sell it to them for. And then when you secure it, then I go buy them? Yes. When do I get paid? That's the thing. The government can pay you as soon as 3 to 5, 15 or 20 days. Okay. You it, said 3 to 5. 3, three to 5. Or okay. it, it can range. Okay. So, for example, uh, when I bid on dibs, I give the government a 2% discount if they pay me within two day, 10 mm, days. Okay. Now, it's not needed, but just to tell you, it can range. Yeah. But you're normally getting paid within 15 days. Wow. Okay. That's fire. So, it was like... And then you just double down on this. Just keep finding mm -hmm. contracts and finding mm -hmm. contracts. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I gotta ask though, because I still wanna I wanna make sure I ain't missing this. I could go find these career contracts for six hundred dollars and just go put multiple people in the thing. It's the same, it's essential. I'm still not dropping, I'm just getting somebody to drop for me and making money. Ain't mm -hmm. that's a whole play, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a big play. Yeah, I'm like, I just want to make sure I ain't missing no, something. No, it's a huge play. I feel like that sounds almost simpler for me than doing the bit and processing all of that. I don't know. That's why I love this part of this business because you can enter at so many different avenues. Right. It's whatever you want to do. Yeah. So me personally, I only want to do medical supplies and then help other people in order to bid. Because a lot of time it's very intimidating for people to find the, um, get a quote find the subcontractor. Now they're going out there and bidding. So the one thing about dibs is that they tell you who won the bid previously and the amount that they wanted for. Mm. So when you're Ooh, on the service good. side, you're just supposed to be out there bidding and then hopefully you are bidding the lowest one to bid. Because remember the government wants the lowest bidder, right. not the highest one. Right. So I like to be able to go on dibs, look to see who is my competitor, who, who brought it last, Maybe it is a manufacturer. Then I'm like, okay, I'm not going after that manufacturer and ask them, can I get a quote? No, I'm going to go after someone who is not bidding, who's not winning. So I like to use that information in order to use that and I'll go. I like to use that information in order to do reverse engineering in order to find um, other subs or whatnot. That's good. Because at the end of the day, the government is not um, um, buying from every single person. This, these sites, when you go on there and look on there, there's two, three, sometimes only five bidders. But on Indeed, there's 200, 300 applicants. Wow. So I'm like, my odds are better over here. There are times the, the, the exact contract that I had, which was Crosstown, when you go on sites like the FPDS, you go in there and you put on in the search, they're winning one, two million dollars worth of contracts in two weeks. Wow. Two weeks. Wow. And and that's what made me say, why am I running as a sub for you? I can go be a prime wow. and take full control of the contract. Mm. So one of the things I want to say for anybody listening is always try, based on what you're saying, always look for the origin source of the contract. Mm -hmm. Find out who got the contract or find out the end user and do mm -hmm. business with them if you can. Yeah, I'm going to drop a gem on you. Yeah. So, like, for example, apps. There's plenty of apps out there. Yeah. I told one of my mentees to do reverse engineering. Instead of going on these apps like Roadie, Dispatch It, and looking for opportunities so you can run it, reach out to the actual company and then say, hey, can I get the route? Mm -hmm. bid on the route and then that's what happened to of my reach mentees. out to the company so just so so i'm understanding right and it's so funny i'm just in switzerland davo switzerland and they lost my bag so roadie mm -hmm. came and bought mm -hmm. me my bag mm -hmm. and roadie is owned by i think fedex or ups, UPS. Mm -hmm. so you're saying am i going to roadie or i'm going to delta and asking for a route like who am i just so i'm understanding that of course, Delta, that's more um, like high end. They're going yep. to be working with their individual partners. Yep. But but Rody has all these different businesses that dump work on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going on there and I'm telling other people to go on there and reach out to the people who are posting mm -hmm. on there Got and it. going after the contract. Because the only reason why they're posting on there is because nobody's able to pick up the work for them. Wow. So they're using these platforms. 
two of my mentees were able to find a contract. Wow. Crazy. Just mm -hmm. by going to mm -hmm. do the reach out method. Yep. And here's the thing. It takes it back to what you said earlier, just being consistent. Yeah. Like being consistent. So let's share a few no-nos or a few mistakes that people should look out for um, when getting in this industry. Is there anything like, hey, steer clear of this, don't do that? Like, is there anything like that you, you can share so we can help our listeners not make minimal mistakes when they're getting in the game? I want to say the biggest thing is try to go after the on-demand contract. Hourly, <laughs> to me, it just... It just ties you in. Yeah. That nine don't to five. Go hourly. Go I don't I don't like the hourly. Done. And yep. a lot of people will get discouraged because a lot of hourly is out there. But nonetheless, if you are consistent, you'll find that opportunity. You'll find the one. Yeah. 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 Got it. And think outside the box. You can't sit there and say, Hey, I'm only gonna look on Indeed. Everybody's on Indeed. Mm. Everybody. Right. What's some other sites? Um the ECA. Okay. Uh, that's another site. Okay. Um, and you just got to get active. Start looking. How how much time should you be putting into this a day? An hour a day? Like just look oh, like how much? Time? If people, I tell everybody forty five minutes to an hour a day. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I'm not asking for two to three hours. I'm asking for about thirty minutes in the a.m. and about thirty minutes in the p.m. because they post all throughout the day. Mm. Once they find their person, they're gonna take it down. That's good. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. good. Man, you just gave me like so many different. Luckily, I focus on one thing. Like I, <laughs> I, I only focus on a few, but there's so many ways for people to really start yes. getting paid. Like out here, just if I'm an Uber driver, I'm going to medical courier tomorrow. If I'm a Lyft driver, I'm going to medical. If I'm roadie, I'm going to medical courier because it just gives you opportunity to make more. And then, like you said, stacking apps with some other ride sharing apps like you like i think i heard of one the other day called freight yeah um, so freight and unfortunately because i am in southern california yeah. there's a lot of apps that are not in every one's location right. so there's some that are nationwide freight and is this play that you're breaking now is this nationwide like can people yes. anybody do this okay. yes you can now will i be totally transparent yeah of course, there is going to be more opportunities in certain areas, but nonetheless, if what you are have some a of them house, areas? well, I just feel like it is the metro, the metro type areas, big cities, Houston, big city. yes. Dallas, yeah. Yep, but York. if you're in the rural areas, of course, it's going to be not as many. But if you have hospitals, you have clinics, and mind you, I don't just focus in the beginning not just on medical. I was focusing on packages. Um, it really didn't matter. Like at one point I was delivering groceries. And but this is before I got to being a full time entrepreneur. Yeah. I tell everyone, you gotta get it. <laughs> yeah. One one hundred by any means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, legally. <laughs> yeah, that part. Yeah, yeah, that no part. legal stuff over here. Yeah, but no, I just <laughs> I'm grateful for you just sharing it, man. I'm just excited to just keep seeing people level up. Is there anything that I don't know much about the industry other than what you just told. Is there anything you want to share that you haven't that people need to know about this game? Honestly, I And I know up. you're having a virtual event where you're going to break all this down. I'm like, give me one more thing if you got <laughs> something else you think people need to hear. Um, I would say uh, knowing where to find these medical contracts. Okay. So when you're searching, you're not searching via keywords like on Indeed or ZipRecruiter. Yeah. You have to have four-digit codes. Okay. So I'm going to give you three codes that I use in order to find um, medical products. Okay. Um, it is 6515. Okay, 6515. 6525. 6525. And 6530. 65. I'm going to play that tonight. Sorry, no. <laughs> so those are three codes. And where do, where are you putting these codes? At? These are the codes that you are putting into dibs in okay. order to find these mm. contracts that are being uploaded. Not every week, but every single day. Wow! So they upload that many contracts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Honestly, if you ask me, I feel like this is the best kept secret. This is like the million dollar secret. Yeah. Wow. Listen, guys, if you're, looking, if you're listening to this episode right now, I want you to go ahead and click the link in the description. Lee is having a five-day virtual experience where she's literally going to be breaking this down. Like, she told me, like, Neil, like, it's hard for me to give you game in 30 minutes. Like, I'm normally teaching this stuff hour to two hours every single day. So she's doing an entire virtual event where you're going to spend an hour to two hours with her every single day 
breaking down everything. Like before it's over, she said, I'm going to make sure they're winning by day two or day three. Like they're outside already active. So if you're looking at this and like, yo, I need to be a part of it, right? Click the link in the description right now. Go ahead and grab your ticket so you're locked in. So no, Lee, I want to say thank you for coming on here and just sharing game and really showing us another way to make money. My channel now is really gearing towards more of helping people win. Like I want to help people do more what they love, make more, just whatever it is they want to do. I want to be able to provide those resources. And I think you did a great job sharing it. Let everybody know how they can connect with you. And, um, and you can close this out with some words of wisdom if you want. Make sure you add me on TikTok and Instagram at Leela underscore Brown. Guys, and make sure y'all tap into our virtual event. It was an amazing time on the show, and I'm sure that event going to be crazy. See you guys on the next show. Let's go.